just waiting all day Too afraid to try and make a change But now I realize I've got to be brave Thinking out, why can't that be me? Cause I know I gotta show Yeah, what I'm capable of Because I don't wanna be I'll see the stars If you want it, shot, I'll make it Whoa. I got the white back door And all the roadblocks, they don't face me Whoa. I just knock them down Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh yeah If you want it, you can you take ready? it now Cause I got the white Yeah, I got the white I got the white back I'm gonna go hard, I'm not gonna fit I can feel the eyes of what you made There's only one chance so you can't be late Starting now, I'm making that change It's my goals And I know eh, I gotta make them come true Because I don't wanna be Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Today you are welcome to our live LD Living Show showing our this time Saturday, every Saturday afternoon. My name is Jessica and you are all welcome. Alright, so today we are going to be making an amazing delicacy. Our menu for today is called eggplant soup. You've heard of eggplant sauce, you've heard of eggplant stew, you've heard of eggplant or ever, but today we are going to be making eggplant stew eggplant is also known as aubergine okay so if you don't want to call it eggplant uh, soup you can as well call it aubergine soup all right okay so without waiting much further of your time before i introduce my recipes today i'm going to first of all wash my hands with soap and water it is always very very hygienic to wash your hands with soap and water before you start cooking in the kitchen yeah all right because health is very very uh then I feature to our health. So I'm going to be washing my hand with soap and water. You wash your hands thoroughly under running water. Wash it properly. Scrub very well before you start cooking. Wow. Okay, so I'm done washing my hands. All right, all right, so without further much ado, I'm going to dive straight into the introduction of our recipes for our aubergine soup or eggplant soup, okay? So all the recipes that you're seeing on my tables are already prepped. What I mean by prepped, they're already washed and clean. Okay, so our recipe for today are sea salt for taste, black pepper, this pepper has a very nice aroma. Goat meat, stockfish, smoked mackerel fish, uh, red chilies, also known as shombo, locally known as shombo. And this is our eggplant. You can as well call this aubergine, yeah? Then we here we have our blended crayfish, uzuza leaf, also known as hot leaf in English. Then here we have our onions. So these are my items for my aubergine soup or my eggplant soup. Okay, all right. So if you are just joining me, are wondering what we are making today? Like I just mentioned, now our menu for today is called eggplant soup. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to start the cooking. Uh, yeah, I'll be cooking in uh, now. So the first thing I'm going to start with, I'm going to start by cooking the meat first. So this meat I is not, uh, I did not uh, marinate this. Yeah. So I'm just going to season it with salt, and then we add a little onions, and then we get that cooking. And I'm also going to be cooking uh, the stockfish too together. All right. Okay. Okay. So then we are going to be cooking our eggplant soup. I'm going to be using. Salad Matter Nutritional Cookwares. Here I have here with me the five wok. Okay, this says for five people. 
depending on what you are cooking with it and you can use this for roasting or for any kind of different cooking either for soup for jello fries or for beans and then here with me i have the 10 deep dish skillets okay the 10 deep dish skillets which can also use for frying and then for making small sauce or for making a little jello fries and also comes with retreated rack but i'm not going to be using that today Okay, so this is Salad Master Nutritional Cookware and here it comes with uh, detachable handles, the short handles and also the long handles, which is, for, which is very easy to fit and for easy storage. All right, just from your fridge to your dining table. Okay, or from your fridge to the gas stove, from the gas stove to the dining table, depending on how you want to use them for. And also serve as a dishware. Okay, so this is the 5 4 which I'm going to be using to make the aubergine soup or the eggplant soup. Like I said, I'm going to be using goat meat. So this is the goat meat I'm going to be cooking. Already, I love to preheat my cookware before using it to cook. So this cookware is already preheated for five minutes. I love to hear that this little sound each time that I put in my, any of my recipes, either tomatoes or meat chicken or turkey. Did you hear that? I love the sound. I just love hearing this. Okay. And then I'm also going to add in my stock fish which also add a very nice flavor, aroma. And here we have our sea salt, like I always say that it's always good to use your sea salt because sea salt is very, very healthy and it has low, it's, it's very, very low in processing. So I'm going to be adding half teaspoon of sea salt. So then I'm going to stir this together so that I can mix the sea salt inside the meat and also the stock fish. Here you notice that I'm not using any drop of water yet because it's always good to cook the meat, the chicken, goat meat or fish is its own natural juice. All right, so I'm going to be cooking this without adding any water in here yet. So then I'm going to cover this, but the only thing I'm going to be adding here is my onions, which also helps to uh, tenderize my meat because onions has also add as a tender, uh, tenderizer. Okay. All right. Okay, like I said, that so our goat meat and the stuffed fish is quickly nice inside the uh, salad master nutritional cookware. Please do not forget to subscribe to Healthy Living Show. Subscribe now as you are watching me. Press the red bell button. Uh, share and also like the video and also recommend us to your friends and your family okay and so then we are going to be uh, slicing these onions i love adding onions to all my soups and my stew because onions are very very good for you very good for your health so the onions i have here they're already prepped already so then i'm going to be using our world famous salad master food processor Oh, no kitchen is complete without this phenomenal salad master food process. So come with five different cones from cone number one to cone number five. For easy identification of the cone of the numbers, the numbers are written underneath the cones. Okay. So it depends on what you are slicing, shredding, chopping, or cutting. All right. All right, like I customer said, I know uh, this Salad Master Food Processor or Salad Master Machine, hence the name Salad Master, save them 50% of their cooking, uh, shopping, slicing, cutting, and shredding in the kitchen. All right, okay then. It's a master of fruits and vegetables. So then I'm going to be using cone number two. Okay, cone number two, which is known as the stronger to slice my onions. For those of you that don't like seeing bigger onions you can use another cone either cone number three or cone number four or cone number five but for me i love my onions in tiny slices so then i'm going to be using cone number two you see it's very very easy and it's manual So then I'm using these onions to just add it to my goat meat like I told you before. I'm just going to be using the onions to just tenderize my meat and also add a very nice flavor. I know that onions too belong to the flavor nice family, which also add flavors to your food and your meal. All right, so then I'm going to just add only these two then I'll blend the rest of them because when you blend, the juice comes out more. So I'm going to be adding just two slices of onions inside my goat meat and then we have it cooking. 
Okay, then I'm going to add in my sliced onions, which I use Salad Master code number two to slice. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that don't like seeing naked onions in your food, you can actually blend it. But it's actually very good to add onions to your food because onions is very, very healthy. It helps to boost your immune system. All right, so you see my goat meat cooking with absolutely no water. I did not add any water in here. It's always good to cook goat meat, chicken, fish, or turkey in its own natural juice. Okay, so then I'm going to be adding in my onions now. Please do not forget to subscribe to Healthy Living Shows. Subscribe and also like and comment. Okay, so then I'm going to cover this and allow this to continue to cook for about 10 minutes before we get back to it. So remember in salad master we do not cook with high heat we cook below the boiling point which is at 86 degrees celsius we do not cook up to 100 degrees celsius yeah which kills the uh the nutrients in your food so we cook at 86 degrees celsius to help to retain the nutrients in your food and then salad master is silently calibrated to notify you when you are cooking above uh, up to 100 degrees celsius so this Vapor vapor here notify you when you are cooking above. All you have to do is to reduce it. Okay, is click medium from medium click low. So when you are cooking, once this thing clicks, once the vapor vapor clicks, it's telling you to turn me low. Then you put it low and then you continue to cook your food. Okay. Okay, so this is my eggplant. This is what eggplants look like. Okay. Okay, it belongs to the nightshade family. Has different colors and color purple, color green, color red, or even color black, depending on the kind of species. All right, so this is eggplant. It's also known as aubergine. Okay, so I'm going to be slicing this because I don't need the skin. So it's not grown under the soil. Like Salam Master, we say that anything that is grown under the soil, you don't have to peel off the skin. But all virgin is grown above the skin, above the soil, so the nutrient is not only beneath the skin. Okay, so then I'm going to be peeling off the skin because I don't need the skin. All virgin too, or air plants, contains a lot of fiber, contains vitamin C and vitamin A. Which helps to protect the cells from damage, any damage at all. It is also known as a vegetable, even though it contains a seed. And this is actually the season of all virgin or eggplant. Yeah? So it's always good and healthy to eat fruit and vegetable when they are in season. They can get them more fresh, juicy, and the nutrients are well intact. There are different ways to, to eat your eggplant. You either you use it for egg sauce, or you, I mean, you use it for eggplant sauce, yeah, or you use it for potages or porridges. You also use them for stew, and the common amongst them is the egg sauce sauce. It's very, very common. All right. So I'm just going to chop this, cut this in chunks, and then I'm going to be boiling this with the red chilies. This is soft, it's soft as tofu. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm then cutting off my eggplants in chunks, you see? Looking very yummy, healthy, and this is super healthy food. So then I'm going to be cooking this together with these red chilies, okay? All right, so remember today we are not going to be using, this is healthy living shows where we do not use oil or any MSG in all of our cooking. All right, so then let's get these two cooking. Let's get them cooking straight up, straight up, straight up. 
Okay, so then I'm going to be adding my red chilies and also my sliced eggplants. I'm going to be using the tender beef skillet like I already mentioned before with absolutely no drop of water yet. So then, because all badging too has their own natural moisture, it brings us its own natural moisture to cook. That is, I'm going to cook this in its own juice, cooking that in a very low heat. Okay, then I'm going to be adding the red chilies. So the red chilies is what I'm going to be using. This says as my base, no drop of palm oil at all. All right. So then we cover. And we are going to cook this on a very low heat without adding any water in there. So then I'm going to cook the aubergine for the eggplants for five minutes before blending that up. So you see, it's good to have salad master cookware, nutritional cookware. Easy way it can use enables you to cook your most of your food like vegetables without adding any drop of water. For hard grains, we add water, something like beans, rice, chickpeas. Uh, sweet corn, dried uh, corn, and the likes. We add water, but for vegetables, we do not use water. Okay, and then back to our wow, wow, look at that. Isn't this amazing? So, our goat meat, stockfish, and then onions, and then sea salt taste, <laughs> and the aroma. <laughs> Smells absolutely delicious. You should try this soup I'm cooking today at home. Just stay with me. Let's get this cooking. Yeah, because we are cooking together. So comment and share. Ask your questions. We are cooking this together. Together. Ask any questions. I'm ready to answer all your questions. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, we are still in the process of cooking eggplant soup. Okay, so there we have our... We have our goat meat, stock fish cooking nicely inside the cookware, and we also have our eggplants and our chilies cooking nicely to inside Salad Master Nutritional Cookware. Do not forget to like, comment, and also share this video. Please, 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 please recommend us to your friends and your family. Tell them to subscribe to Healthy Living Shows. Okay, so then here I have my hot leaf, also known as Uzuza leaf, which is very good for obono soup okra soup, fisherman soup, seafood okra, egusi soup. This leaf here is very, very mighty. The aroma is, is, uh, is something else, yeah? So we call this uzuza leaf, and I swear call it hot leaf. But if you go to the market and ask them that you want to buy hot leaf, they'll tell you it's not available even when it's staring at you directly in your face there. Okay, so just, okay, just simply call it uzuza leaf, all right? Is very very healthy for you and also very very good for boys and for the nutritional value is superb okay then so it's already washed it's always good for you to wash your vegetables before you slice okay very very healthy it's even more hygienic to wash your vegetables just wash them with salt properly before you slice because when you wash and then, when you slice and then you wash, you wash most of the nutritional value away, the nutrients, you wash them out. You know what Salad Master talk about? Flavor, colors, yeah, and taste. Okay, you have, you have to make sure that these three are intact whenever you are cooking, the colors, the taste, and also the flavor. It matters a lot. That's why you have to use Salad Master nutritional cookware to lock in your flavor also the purity of your food, all right, which will turn an average of 93% whenever you are cooking. All right, so then I'm going to slice this using my wonderful Salad Master uh, knife. So this is the only vegetable that I'm going to be adding inside my eggplant soup. So this eggplant soup is a simple soup. It's very, very easy. Okay, just to have a change of soup instead of cooking a goosey soup, obono soup, vegetable soup, edikaiko, and the likes. Change something different. 
and trust me with the aroma it's going to be super super healthy for you and eggplant is also very good for both men and women also helps to increase enhance human fertility all right So it's not, it's really optional, it's not a con, it's not a must, it's not compulsory that you must add this hot leaf if you don't like the yeah, hot leaf, because some people don't like this hot leaf. So you can also add in your spinach, your pumpkin leaf, which is known as ugu, or Lagos spinach. You know what I mean by Lagos spinach? Lagos spinach is called eforiro. That is a shoko, eforiro leaf, that is shoko, yeah? Or the local spinach, which is known as green or tete in Yoruba. So you can add them. All right. So then I'm done slicing this. So I'm going to set this aside. So then we are going to quickly check on our. So we are going to quickly check on our goat meat, yeah, because the goat meat is ready now, and then the eggplant and the chili. So we can blend them together and start cooking our soup immediately. See, it's super simple and easy. We are almost done. Cooking with Salad Master is super easy and fast. Okay, so it's time to review our goat meat cooking and also our eggplant and the red chilies. I feel like I should open them at the same time. Let's review them at the same time. There we go. Wow. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So the goat meat, remember no water yet. Okay. And then the eggplant. Wow. The eggplant is ready. It's ready to blend now. And the red chilies is also ready. So the reason why that I bought the red chilies is because when you boil your red chilies, bring out the basic colors to be more sharper. Okay, if you are not here, you will not believe that I did not add any palm oil when I'm cooking this soup. Okay, so we are going to be cooking this together. So with them, we are going to see how this red chili turns out in our soup. Okay. So I'm also adding in the seed because the seed of red chilies are also super healthy for you. Very, very healthy. So then I'm going to turn off the heat now. So remember no water for cooking the eggplants. Yeah. No water for cooking the eggplant and the red chili because they have their own natural moisture to cook. So when you cook them on a very low heat, you cook nicely and then this water comes out. Remember that salad, uh, salad master nutritional cookware is hair tight. Nothing goes in and nothing comes out, all right? All right, so then we are going to leave this to cool a bit. So then we continue with our soup. So in here, I have my goat meat and also stock fish. And then I use onions and sea salt. The aroma is super amazing and it smells absolutely nice. So the onions have to tantalize it, making it to get softer on time. All right, so then we are going to blend this. We are going to be blending this, okay? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to blend the two of them together. All right, I'm going to blend the two of them together. All right. All right, my beautiful and wonderful viewers. So I'm going, going to blend the eggplant and the red chilies with the aid of my vitamins blender this blender is strong <laughs> all right so the first thing i'm going to be adding i'm going to be adding the air plant. you don't need to try and uh, trash out the water or rather drain out the water now you need the water yeah then we add in the red chilies too Remember, we are not using any palm oil at all. No drop of oil and no MSG. Okay. So then I'm going to add in my onions. Cut up in chunks. So we are all going to blend. I'm going to be blending this in a very smooth paste. With the aid of my blender.
that was super fast isn't it that was super super fast and easy all right so it's time for us to cook this it's time for us to incorporate all these recipes we have here on the table and let's see the outcome of our eggplant soup let's go get this cooking okay my beautiful viewers it's time for us to complete this soup hmm? wow mm -hmm. the aroma smells absolutely amazing okay so the meat is ready then we are going to be adding in our blended eggplants and also blended red chilies which was previously boiled it was cooked together so at this time now i'm going to be adding in water remember the meat was cooled without water and also the eggplants and the red chili was cooled without water so then i'm going to add in water look at that oh my my no red oil in here no palm oil and it's looking absolutely amazing amazing so this is super easy okay very very super easy okay then so i'm then going to add in my blended crayfish So you see the reason why it's good to cook with salad master and nutritional cookware because you just like dumping all the recipes inside the cookware cover once it clicks turn it off then i'm going to add in my black pepper this black pepper the aroma is super super amazing you know we use this for also for white soup yeah for white soup or for fisherman soup so then i'm going to add the black pepper so then I'm going to add sea salt again, but this one I'm going to add one fourth of my tea, of the teaspoon of sea salt because we previously used sea salt to cook the goat meat. And then I'm going to give this a stir, stir this properly. So in here I have my goat meat, I have stockfish, I have onions, I have eggplants, blended eggplant and red chilies. Then I also added in my black pepper and of course sea salt to taste. So at this time now it's time for the smoked mackerel fish to go inside the soup which also gives it a very nice super aroma. okay so you see it's looking very nice very super easy to make very very easy to make and then i'm going to be adding in my uzuza leaf this leaf is very hard it's as hard as um afan leaf yeah for most of you that know afan leaf is hard so then it's good to always put it on time so that it releases the aroma out and also helps to soften it okay so then i'm going to add this at this time now and then just allow this soup to simmer for 10 minutes and then we are going to turn it off so the more you cook the uzuza leaf the hot leaf the more the flavor comes out the more it raises the flavor out okay okay so this is super 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 thick i'm still gonna add more water So I'm just going to cover this and allow this to simmer for, yeah, for 10 minutes. So for most of you that are just joining me and you're wondering what I'm cooking today on the show, we are making eggplant soup. All right. So we are going to leave this to simmer for 10 minutes and we will get back to it because at 10 minutes, this food will be ready. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthy Living Shows.
Wow, it's 10 minutes already and our eggplant soup is ready. Let's review this. Oh, wow. Wow. Delicious. Mm, 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 mm. The aroma. Hmm. The only thing you are missing, viewers, is just the aroma and the taste. It's time for us to dish this amazing, delicious, appetizing eggplant soup. See the texture? Not too tea and not too watery. So it's time for us to dish. Now I'm going to dish out this. Mm. Look at the color. Looks absolutely yummy. So in here I have uh, eggplant, blended eggplant or aubergine. And I have red chilies. I have black pepper, onions, sea salt to taste, smoked mackerel fish, stuffed fish, and goat meat as my protein. And we also added in blended crayfish. And for the leaf, we use uzuza leaf, also known as hot leaf. And we also added in blended onions. Okay. This soup is super easy to make. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? This looks yummy. Okay, I want to know in the comment section what kind of swallow would you love to eat this way? Is it a bar? Gary? <laughs> I know a bar and Gary is the same thing, right? <laughs> is it millet? Any swallow of your choice? I just want to know. Our, our eggplant soup is ready. You know what they say? The difference is in the taste. So what? I'm going to be tasting this yummy, delicious soup right now. Grab your spoon. Join me. Join me. Join me. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely. Mwah. Yummy. 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 All right. So thank you to every one of you. Do not forget to join me again next week for another amazing video with a different menu it's me jessica now signing out see you stay healthy keep living medium click low and we go bye hey guys it's me again remember my midnight strolls in lagos the heat in lagos yeah guess what happens i'm now in the freezing london freezing london it's freezing look at that look some of you can see some of the faces a bit dark but it's freezing and the freezing making you think of the heat in nigeria but this one i've got to do quick because i'm cold i'm cold now what's inspired me what's inspired me during this walk you know you get those people that you tell them to eat healthy eat healthy and you probably even do a presentation for them and at the end they know it's right and you know what they say something must my friend something must kill a man now guys something must kill a man yep not something yeah something can kill a man <laughs> yeah bad food can kill a man you know we heard of people committing suicide by taking pills taking things that are not good for them and they die that's not in god's time that's in their time some of us are taking our lives in our time not god's time and what do i mean by that we're eating food that's bad for us and guess what? We're leaving the world early, earlier than expected. Yeah? Don't tell me God asked you to eat bad food. No, you decided. So guys, what I'm saying to you all here, stop saying something must kill a man. Yeah? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Watch yourself. Stay healthy. And guess what? Get on our health restore program. 30 days of detox. That's what you need. Detox. Give your body a go. Give it a chance. Give your health a chance. Life is for living. And thanks. Me signing out. Bye.